Yeah, whiskey smiling in case you be back with another video. No cap today. I'm gonna give you guys 10 things that you guys can start now to make 2023 a way better and way more successful successful year than 2022. You know what I'm saying? 2023 is right around the corner. It is the 23rd as I'm recording this. I'm gonna upload this the same day. Only a few more days left in the year. Now you guys can choose if you guys want to make 2023. The greatest year of all time or if you want to sit there and just do what you do every year make a list of bullshit goals and then never accomplish them you get to make a choice but the real niggas the niggas that really bought that shit they starting their year off now nigga. you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna give you these tips it's up to you if you want, want to use them or not but let's get straight into this bitch no cap number one work out at least five times a week at least five times a week, I want you guys all to be working out, doing some sort of physical activity. You'll just feel better about yourself. Ask anybody that works out, anybody that does any type of workout, either go to the gym, go on runs, do home workouts. They feel better about themselves after. You feel accomplished. So, we're going to keep this we gonna keep this list going. I ain't going to elaborate too much, but I'm just going to let you guys know, you're going to feel great after you work out. I'll be feeling good after I hit my, my 400 push-ups a day. Starting January 1st, 500 push-ups a day. You know what I'm saying? I'll be feeling good after that shit, bro. Next up is meditate. You, everybody has at least five minutes in their day, right? You just sit there and meditate. Focus. Let your thoughts flow through your mind. What I do is I put on, I literally type a five-minute meditation music, and it's like the first one that pops up. I just listen to that, bro. Put my headphones on, clear my mind, and just let my thoughts just flow and shit, bro. Just let them flow. When you're done, you feel refreshed. Like, it feels like you just, like, re-woke up and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And it's a great feeling. I suggest everybody get on that meditation wave, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's good for you. Whether you want to do it or not, it's up to you. But I highly suggest it. It has changed my life ever since I started meditating, bro. Like, I be feeling good. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wake up and, like, I be waking up tired as hell because I be working so damn hard. And then I'm like, you know what? Let me take five minutes to focus on myself. I be feeling re, re, just like a whole new brand new person after that shit. I ain't gonna lie. That to you guys, my bad. Next up is read books. Now, you guys, you guys watch my 2023 goals list video. I'm going to read two to four books a month. I think you guys should start off reading at least one book a month. But reading a book a month, you let me read 12 books by the end of the year. You know what I'm saying? And when I say books, I don't mean that bullshit Harry Potter and all that shit. I mean, like, books about finances, books about, like, real estate, books about life in general. Things that's actually going to, you know what I'm saying, benefit you in life. I think everybody needs to be doing this shit. I listen to the audiobooks personally. I do not read the books physically. And there's a bunch of free trials. I'm going to be honest with you. I just restart the free trials every single month and shit. Anytime my shit cancels and shit. So there's no excuses, bro. I literally listen to these books for free. I don't have to go to the library. I, don't, I literally, my phone, I got them bitches. You know what I'm saying? So start reading some books, bro. It's good. Like, I know you guys look at reading books as dweeby and dorky and shit. Like, a lot of people laughed at me when I said I started reading books. But, I mean... I read books about real shit, about real shit like money. If you want to laugh about a nigga learning about money, I mean, you just, you're just weird. Next, we got Eat Healthy. Now, I've been preaching these past, what, 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 what number is this? Four things. I've been preaching these four things since I started doing these things. And eating healthy is one of the greatest things. Now, I know, I'm not telling you guys to go just straight healthy vegetables and shit like that, but like cut out fast food, especially. When you cut out fast food, a lot of you guys eat fast food like three to four times a week, and that is horrible for you. You know what I'm saying? So try to cut out fast food, and you will feel like a, bro, you'll have so much more energy, you'll feel so much better about yourself, and you'll be so much more productive. Look at that nigga little snack, bro. That nigga used to eat fucking fast food like how many times a week, nigga? And that nigga cut that bitch out. That nigga is too energetic, my nigga. It be making me mad sometimes how energetic that nigga is, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it's good to see that nigga happy and healthy and shit, bro. And I want to see all you guys like that, too. That's what I'm telling you guys. Try to eat as healthy as possible. Another thing is to cut out people that are not on your level. Now, listen. All you guys, everybody's sister says, New Year, new me. I'm cutting off all you guys. Some of you guys aren't coming to New Year with me. But you guys don't cut off the right people. You got to cut off people that are not on your level. You know what I'm saying? Like, people that are below you, humbly cut them off, bro, until they reach your level. They're going to do nothing but drag you down. 
You don't want anything but people on your level and above you, you know what I'm saying, in your circle. Any nigga that's still a bum, still got the bum mindset, don't, you know what I'm saying, hate them. Let them fit, find out themselves, let them figure out themselves, and then bring them back up when they're on your level, bro. Like, I've cut out a lot of people that are on my level. I don't talk to anyone, really, because they're not on my level. I still love them, I still fuck with them, they still my brothers and shit. But, like, once they get to my level, you know what I'm saying, humbly speaking, like, you know what I'm saying, I'm on a different level than most of these people. You know what I'm saying? Once they get to my level, they can come back in my life 100%. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just how it is. And if you cut somebody off for that reason, you explain to them the reason, and they have an issue with that, they was never with you for the first, you know what I'm saying, right the reason in the first place. They never, really, they don't really care about you. This is a big one, bro. Stop wasting time. This is one I'm still struggling with. I've gotten a lot better with it. You guys know I've been getting a lot more productive, but stop wasting time. We all have the same 24 hours. The only difference between how successful I'm going to be compared to you is who spends their 24 hours more wisely. Now, a lot of you guys are in school or in work. You got to go there for, what, eight, nine hours a day? You can't get that shit back. So once you're out of school, once you're out of work, that's not the end of your day. A lot of you guys think that once you guys get home, okay, I'm just sit back, watch some Netflix, eat popcorn. I did my job at school. I did my job at work. No, nigga. You got to put in even more effort when you're off of work and off of school so you can get to the next level or else you've been learning the same things and you're making the same amount of money that everybody's making and there's nothing separating you from the rest i should not be explaining this shit to you guys bro it's simple now this one is one i wish i could do is delete social media i really wish i didn't do social media like i wasn't a youtuber or a twitch streamer all that shit and i didn't need social media to like connect with my supporters and shit because i would have been cut off social media the time that i wasn't on social media was my happiest time I don't see everybody else flexing on on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? And me personally, it never affected me. I see people flexing, I get motivated from that. But a lot of you guys, it, it fucks with your mind and shit, you know what I'm saying? So if you don't need social media, delete it. Delete it. If you're not making money off of social media, or at least try and delete it. Next up is go outside, bro. Go outside. And I don't mean touch grass and all that shit. I mean go outside, go explore, go, go on an adventure, nigga. Go travel. Go travel, nigga. What do they say? The best memories are, um... I don't know what I was going to say. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Go travel and shit, nigga. I'm going to be doing a lot of travel in 2023. I'm going to... I want to see a lot of things. I want to experience a lot of things. So, I got to travel. You know what I'm saying? I think traveling will make your year... Only if you only if you have the money. Don't go broke traveling. Do not be an idiot. But if you got a little money left over, go travel and shit. You know what I'm saying? Go see the world. Create memories. That's what, that's what I plan on doing. I can't really say this uh, with 100% that it's going to make it your, your year better because I haven't really experienced a year of traveling. I, you know what I'm saying? I haven't really gone nowhere for real, for real. But at the end of the year, I will be able to let you guys know. And some of you guys might be able to vouch for me too if you do the same thing. Build your fucking network. All I'm going to say is DM me if you want to be a part of my network and you're serious, but build your network. End of discussion, nigga. And the last two go hand in hand, bro. Stop giving a fuck about everything and s put yourself first. A lot of you guys make the, the, the uh, problem of uh, putting other people first, putting your family first, which, okay, no, let me not say it like that. Like, I mean, stop prioritizing other people over your yourself, bro. Stop prioritizing your mom's happiness over your happiness, your girl's happiness over your happiness. Do what makes you happy first so you can help them on the, in, in the long run, all right, bro? Like, um, the thing is, you can't help people if you're broken yourself. That's how it works. So if you're not happy, you cannot make other people for real happy. You'll make them happy in the moment, but in the end long run, they're not going to be happy. So stop giving a fuck about everything, because a lot of you guys care too fucking much. You guys know I'm the I'm the king of I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't care. I literally give no fucks, bro. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I need you. I, I don't need you guys to get this mentality too, but I really think it will help you guys out a lot, because some of you guys be complaining, coming to me complaining over the dumbest shit, bro. My girl's cat died, okay? That was a cat. That nigga like, what? Oh, this this girl didn't DM me back on Instagram. Okay. Like, like, why do you care, bro? Like, nigga, stop giving the fuck, bro. Hey, but those are my, um, that's my little list of advice. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something from it. Hopefully it helps you out. You know what I'm saying? Have a better 2023. I think a lot of them, everything but the traveling one, I can guarantee will make your year better. But, um, yeah, bro, make sure you like, comment, subscribe.
Road to 1K, still paying 1K by the end of the year. You never fucking know, nigga. And I'm out this bitch, no kizzy, bro. Subscribe to Forum Pill and follow me on Instagram. Okay.